All right, Panther fans. So before we get started, um, just want to let everybody know, appreciate all of the uh, the ridiculous number of views. I woke up this morning. The recap last night has almost 3,000 views. Wow. And and every video now is getting like 20, 30 new subscribers. So people are liking the content. That It's one thing to get views. It's another thing when your subscriber count is just like blowing through the roof. So everybody who's new, we really appreciate it. Everybody who's been there along the way and helped out, another big round of appreciation. And, and we'll go on more about that in other videos. I don't want to spend too much time there, but but thank you. Now, for those of you who know me, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a life coach, but more specifically, I'm a relationship coach. And if there's something that I know, the one thing I'm good at is at picking up language. And when I get a couple in front of me, I know within two minutes, which one of the two is not ready to do the work by the words that they use. And, 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 and what usually will happen is I will pick up on words that they use and they will deny, 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 deny until we get to about hour number two. And then they have to admit that I've been right all along. And then there's tears and there's crying. There's a breakdown and shit gets fixed. And I'm telling you that Jonathan Huberto hadn't figured it out yet. That kid ain't ready. Who, who cares is at the top of the list of things that a professional athlete should never say. And we all, we all know we think how he meant it. And I know how he thinks he meant it. But the reason why he's saying who cares is because he can't get up enough courage to be as angry as he needs to be. And certainly not publicly. And if you can't get angry publicly behind closed doors, you're holding it in. And if you're holding it in, you're not blocking shots and laying your body out like the Tampa Bay Lightning are. And that's why they're winning this series and we're not. Good morning, Stu. How Hello, are you? Eric. <laughs> well, I'm smoking a new cigar, guys. This is from, it's called uh, Aging Room. Um, it's got this label and it's got this label. Not doing any plugs here, but it uh, looks like it's made by uh, Quattro in Nicaragua. And of course, I got it from ABC Liquor and my friend Mark, who watches the channel. Thank you. Um, real smooth. I think it was rated 93 by uh, Scar Aficionado in 2021. Okay, so anyway, a little change of pace here. Yeah. Um, ah, yeah. What do I say? Um, well, it, Brian it, still thinks we're coming back and when now it's we're winning four in a so, row. So I, does Kyle. You know, so does Kyle. I, I, mean. I think um, I think we have to come down to reality here, boys and girls. <laughs> um. Look, you, you, you can see it's, say, it's, Stu and I are in the same place. It's like, well, if they're not going to get mad, why should we get mad? And just, you know, <laughs> all I know is, Jonathan Huberto, you had an empty net and a chance for us to go up a goal. And you didn't roof it with, with, with strength. You didn't, like, bury it. Right. You just shot it, and obviously McDonough blocked it, right? Deflected it, and we have no goal. Right. Tampa comes back and scores the go-ahead goal, and that's the game right there, guys. And that's and that's, that's where the game was lost for me. It dude, just changed right the whole momentum. Oh, we, we all jumped up we off the couch. All three right. of us jumped up when when we, we we jumped up because and then and then we're like, wait, it, it didn't go in the net. I mean, we literally. I mean, you you roof that with enthusiasm. Yeah. Or at least get it, you know, in the upper part of the net, but you make sure that that's buried. Empty net goal. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And look, I, you know, obviously, you know, everything after the Hegel hit. Right. Um, you know, and, and I don't know why somebody didn't attack Hegel right away. I just, you know. <laughs> that that's the type of hit where you go after the guy, you know, but we didn't. And of course, you know, we didn't get our five minute major, which we scored on the power play real right. quick, real, real easy. I know yeah, yeah. It's just like the puck moved around and Huberto found Reinhardt. It was in the net before you could blink. But if we had had the five minute major, who knows if we would have gotten right. another goal. Right. Right. Who's to know? Well, who's to know? All I know is we're down 3-0, and I'm rhyming. And 
I think it's going to take more than a miracle for us to come back in a 3 0 series against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Right. right. Do well, I give up? No. But look, I just don't. Uh, I, I, I... There's, there's two plays that sum it up. You just talked about one of them. McDonough lays out, blocks the shot with his stick. The second goal, the one where Bobrovsky screamed. I don't know who it was. Kenzie Weger. Is okay. that the Stamco shot? No, no. The the one where it was it was a straight on shot. The second the second goal. Stamkos made it three one. The second goal that eventually ends up Bob's kind of screen any and it ends up hitting him in the chest and then deflecting off of him into the back of the net. There was a Panther standing there. I don't know who it was, so I'm not picking on if it was. That's Weger. the one where it deflected off Stam Close and it deflected off Corey Perry. Um. Well, I believe that that's what happened. So I, the point I'm making is there was a there was a Panther player standing there, and he's moving out of the way of the puck. He's not getting in front of the puck and blocking it like a Tampa Bay player would have. And that's the point I'm making is that, I mean, the, the, the Vasilevsky's not seeing half of these shots were taken because every shot, whoever it is on the Tampa Bay Lightning, is sacrificing their body and laying down and, and blocking the shots. And we're not. And, yeah, and we talk, we, you, you and I talked about it, you know, last night, texting, whatever, that, and I think that I think it was Tampa had 12 or 13 block shots. I don't know how many we had, but the, yeah, the, your point is, and my point was, these guys will do anything to yeah. win, yeah. sacrificing the body, mm -hmm. taking the injuries. I mean, in the previous game, Stamkos went down the tunnel three times. Yeah. Yeah. Hagel went down. A, I mean, <laughs> there's right. a big difference. Between right. Tampa and the Panthers, right, right. The, it's and it's and and on a on a human in, level, right. Yeah, and on a human level, <coughs> separating myself out from fandom, Tampa simply deserves it more. I mean, just on, a, a, as a man, as a human, watching what they're willing to do to win. Yeah, that's why they win. Totally and, agree. And, and you see it every shift, every single every shift. shift. It doesn't matter what the situation is. doesn't matter who's on the ice. They, they just want it more, and it's not even close how much more yep. they want it. Yeah. And, you know, I said it I last think, I think they want this one real bad now because it's a three-peat. Right, right. Yeah. You know, when you get, when you get into the three-peat territory. Right, right. right. You know. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I want to say changed. dynasty, but, you know, then you get into the great teams. Right. The Islanders, obviously the Canadians, Edmonton, you know, the teams that have won three in a row, four in a row. I mean, how right. many teams have won? Right. Three in a row. Not a lot. Not a lot. You it's know, a and legacy, certainly it's not a, in the it's modern a, It's a legacy right. team. Right. You know what I mean? And uh, we, they pretty much have, you know, the same core. In my opinion, the core is... You know, Stamkos, Kucherov, Hedman, Sergachev, right. Point. Right. And Vasilevsky, obviously. And Vasilevsky, yeah. That's yeah. that's the core five for Tampa. Right. right. I mean, Kucherov is has taken over the number one Panther killer right. on Tampa, you know. Yeah, we have no answer for him. Stamkos <laughs> used to be number one. Right. Kucherov, hands down, right. is the number one Panther killer for Tampa. Right. So <laughs> And we didn't stop. We haven't stopped them yet. No, no, we we have, we have no answer. We, we we did stop. I will say though, on the PK, we actually did intercept and stop that damn bumper pass that they tried to do one time. I almost I almost cried. Almost fell off the couch when I saw that. I think it was Achari intercepted that damn bumper pass. Like somebody finally. It only took what six games last year. It only took nine playoff games for somebody to figure out that play. So. Look, we can sit here and, like I said in the recap last night, it's, it's all of the things. It's all of the things, right? So <laughs> no matter what I say, you say, somebody on Twitter says, they're right because 
it's 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 the players not playing. It's the coaches not making adjustments. The only thing it's not is Bobrovsky. I again, I I it's just like I'm in the fucking twilight zone here from the beginning of the season to now. That the only problem we don't have is is goaltending, right? So no, I, I I I I just yes, Bob's been solid. However, on two of the goals, you know, one goal for sure. Bob should have stood tall instead of, you know, going down on his knees like he tends to do. And of course, as soon as he does that, you know, stamp goes shoots high. Um, there were a couple of goals Bob could have, should have had. Well, but so to, for the most part, he's been phenomenal. Right. And look, even like, I, I, I don't disagree with you. Especially the stamp. I mean, the stamp co shot is one of those where if he makes it, it's an amazing save. But it's one of those saves where you got to have. But 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 at the but same time, why wasn't time, that shot blocked? There was nobody there. We because they showed the replay on boy the in the post game after I after I when I was uploading the video and I saw some of the TNT post game. Uh, I mean, they were just ripping. The yeah, see, I, I, they, I, they once were the empty net was scored, I turned the game off. I was totally disgusted. Right. I didn't watch. Right. I didn't watch the um, Bally's, you know, Randy and whatever. I didn't watch that, their post game thing. <laughs> I, no, I, I, I just left it on thing. the. Ch- and I didn't watch your recap. Oh, shit. Yeah. For, a, for a long time. <laughs> for a long, right, right, right. I just was like, you yeah. know what? I'm just going to. I didn't yeah. watch any other hockey last night. Yeah. You know, I me, just said. Me too. Me too. Right. My brain needs to just. Yeah. Take all it all in and what what where we are right now is pretty much towards the end of right what was the greatest season in Panther history. Right, right. And 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 if this team doesn't win the Stanley Cup. Well I I I, I <laughs> It's so hard for me to do this video this morning, guys, because I'm I'm just crushed. You know, I, I'm just really demoralized and just crushed. I mean, OK, so Bruno made a couple of changes. So, I mean, obviously he didn't replace Uyghur, but OK, but he made the you know, he made the change on the power play. Right. And it looked great the first. Yeah. But what happened in the second and the third one? They went back to the same shit. And I blame that on Jonathan Huberto. Okay. The, 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 the power play was, you know, tentative, hesitant. I mean, he didn't look, he didn't like they did. They yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> look, I, let, let's just start here. Barkoff is not the quarterback on the power play. Let, 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 let's just start there. That, that should have been an experiment that ended quickly. He's, he's not secure enough at the blue line with the puck. He's not decisive enough. I, I think if you want to put somebody, if you want to put a forward out there at running it, put give Huberto. I, I would prefer to see Huberto do it. Um, if if you're going to go with that five forward look, because Huberto is much better, much quicker distributing the, the the passes, especially when he's given time. But that leads us to you know one of the things I talked about, which was, in my opinion, from I've seen enough. This team is not winning a cup with with Barkov at captain. The, the, a change that, if nothing else happens, that change has to be made so that there is a different leadership voice. Because what they're doing now is clearly not working. The, the, you cannot have. I mean, <clears throat> Barkov is supposed to be the guy to get the team going. He's supposed to be the leader, and he's the first one that gets dejected and depressed and. And the body language is just awful. It's the opposite. He's the reason why you need a strong captain. So players don't do that shit. It's all backwards. It's all backwards. So did you see they had Hornquist mic'd up yesterday? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's your captain. Right, right. No, and then that, and that, not in not in not in name. Right. I mean, he had the he had the A, but there's your captain. Right. Yeah. You know, we we questioned when you know when they gave him the C back way back when and i didn't right. i didn't i i, I didn't want trocheck to have it right, i right, wanted right. i wanted Ekblad to have it 
Ekblad would have been a good choice. I mean, he's, right. you know, he's my favorite player and maybe I was biased or whatever, but I, I think I, I, I didn't want Barkov to have it because he's, and I'm not going to use the word timid, but I'm going to use the word timid, not in a derogatory way, right. but in, in, a, in a way meaning. By hockey standards. <laughs> a captain is your rah-rah, is your energy, is right. your guy. Right. Like McDavid scores a goal and he has that celly and he's right. like whooping it up like, come on, right. guys. Right. We're right. down 4-1. I just made it 4-2. We're going to tie it up. Right. But what do you got? Stamkos. Yeah. What do you got? Ovech- Ovechkin. I mean- Ovechkin. <laughs> there's, the, there's the number one guy. Right. There's right. your prototypical captain. Right. right. Just does it all. He Just leads does- by example. Right. And he leads by his actions. And it's been, right. everything other than scoring the goals. Right. I mean, he's always demonstrative. That's right. the word. And, and, and both of these series have really driven that home. Because when you watched Ovechkin's play versus Barkov's play in the first round, let's face it. If Carter Verhage doesn't have a hell of a series, we may not be sitting here against Tampa. Um, and then the difference in the play between Stamkos and Barkov, and not, not, just, not just the play, but just the effort and the will and the drive. So, so that has to happen. And then you get into the you get into the weeds because if you keep Brunette, is he going to have the cojones to take that C away from from Barkov? And give it to Hornquist. Is Zito going to go in there and say, like, I want Hornquist to get another year and put the C on him so we have a couple of – is 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 Brunette going to do that? Is Zito going to want that? And then you start thinking the only way to get that C off of Barkov's sweater is to get a new coach who had, would have the – he's got the collateral. He's got the credentials to come in and say, I'm the new coach, so I'm going to make this change as I see fit. And then you make the change. Um, and so now we're in a, we're in a situation where God to help us just, just the, the, I can see the arguments on Twitter. Now I can, I can see everybody just killing each other over this. And, but we, we have to agree on one thing and that is Barkov's not captain material. It doesn't mean everything is his fault. Let, let's be clear. It doesn't mean everything is his fault. But it starts with your captain, and it's ending with the captain right now. All right, I'm going to give you two examples now where captain C's were changed, in my opinion, for the better. And I don't know if a lot of people know this, but Clark Gillies was at one time the captain of the Islanders. Okay, it didn't last long, but Clark Gillies gave up the captaincy and gave it to Potvin. I don't think it was taken away. I, again, we're going back, right? You know, yeah. early seventies. But you know, Clark Gillies was the captain before um, Danny Potvin, and obviously, look what happened. Right. You know, with that team, huh. Dustin Brown was the captain of the LA Kings, and either it was taken away or he gave up the captaincy to Andre Kopitar. So, um, what's my point? The point is, it you know, it, captaincies can be, you know, changed. Right. Do I think that's going to happen? No. Just like I didn't think Uyghur was going to be scratched yesterday. I just right, don't right. know, you know, I don't know whether that it would, you know, affect Barkov's psyche or whatever. But, I, I you know, there's a responsive, there's a heavy burden right. and heavy responsibility to being captain. Right. And, um you know, I said it at the time, and I'll say it again. I don't think Barkov has the temperament or whatever, or right. the or the the right stuff, so to speak, to be the captain. Right. Because your captain is your leader. I mean, he he, he can still be our best player. Um, but I'm when, so dis- who- I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed in him, and it's not just this series, or the last series or the last three times we've gotten in the playoffs since, you know, he's been with the team. You'd give me example of one playoff series where he led our team right. in 
right. in attitude or in deeds. Meaning, right. did we ever have a series where Barkov got like, you know, five goals and three assists? Like like Carter and Verhage right, right, right. was the reason why we won the Capital Series. Yeah. Can anybody name one series that we've had where Barkov was the guy, the right. leader? Like McDavid right. is doing in Edmonton? Yeah. Now, I don't know, you know, I, I missed the game. I don't even know where they're at right now as far as Edmonton and Calgary. Edmonton just, won last I, night. You know, what's that? Edmonton won last night. Okay. And yeah. what did uh, what did McDavid do? I, I didn't game? I didn't see that. I saw the scores. I was going to bet. I think it was 4-1 at, at, at near the end of the third period, Kyle was telling me. So unless, some, unless something crazy happened, Edmonton won. I didn't recheck this morning. Okay, so let's just uh, let's just take a quick gander, guys. Okay, yeah, four to one, and Connor McDavid. Eh, he only had three assists. That's all. That's ah, all. He sucks. So he was he was involved. <laughs> oh, Evander Kane had a, had a hat trick. Had a hat trick. <laughs> what a what a pickup, right? Right. Yeah. He, they got him for nothing. He get yeah. he gets Jettison. Right. By San Jose, he, he signed. Yeah. I don't even know what he signed for. I mean, he's definitely going to get paid after the season. Right. But the captain is involved in three out of the four goals. So right. No, there you go. <laughs> yeah, you, you made your point when you didn't even know the point was there. And it's – so, all right. So there's more than Barkoff. And, 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 I mean, it starts with him. And we don't want to make it all on him. Huberto, obviously, like we talked about at the beginning, I mean, when you're coming out there, 3-0, and, and I get it. He's, he's, I didn't even hear what he said, Eric. Tell me. Some, um, I think it was. I'm telling you, I totally, for once, right. decided not to get myself sick because right. I started feeling kind of ill last night after the game. After I, like, turned the game off, what I started to get <laughs> really worked up. And then um, I said, no, you know what? Right. Don't right. do this to yourself. Right, right, right. And I just decided to just like, you know, not watch, not no okay. hockey the rest of the night. So, so I missed any post game comments, right. interview, whatever. So tell me right. what happened. So, so I don't know who asked the question or what the question was, but all as soon when I was, but while the recap was uploading, this was blowing up on Twitter and I, I ganged up and everything too. Um, this may not be the exact quote. But what he said was, so we're down 3-0. Who cares? We can still come back and win. So he's, who, who cares was really the big takeaway. So it's just like, uh, he's, not, he's not getting it. And, I, and, and even though you know that he doesn't really mean like, uh, who cares? That's, that's, that's not the language that you throw out there at, at that point in the net within the, this is a national series. You've got your fan base is growing. You're supposedly, you know, the team MVP, et cetera, et cetera. Who cares is, is at, at, at best irresponsible at, at best. You don't throw that quote out there for the media and for the fans and for the guys who play with puppets in their basement to, to get, you don't throw that up. You don't throw that out there. Definitely it, it, poor choice of words. Right. It, it, it shows he hasn't quite gotten it yet. The entire, the entire picture, because there's, there's more to it than just what goes out on the ice. And I think that speaks to what's going on with some of the players on this team. They think they can just go to the beach. They can have whatever attitude and whatever they're going to do outside. And then they're going to go to the rink, turn it on and ah. Oh, Maybe we didn't win. Oh, well, who cares? So there's a, and that, that starts at the top and that's not just Barkov that starts at, and, and, and I know that to an extent, the not panicking attitude leads to some of the comebacks. I get that, but you also have to be able to couple that with knowing when it's really time to, 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 to turn it on and they don't, they, they just, they turned it on when Lou Strining got hurt and it was almost as if 
And let me know if you felt this way too. It was almost as if when loose riding came back, they said, oh, okay, he's not hurt. And that energy went away. So that period of time where they were maniacs yeah. was the best hockey they played the whole four season. Yeah. In the two, in the, all the all the yeah. playoffs. Exactly. Exactly. That period of time they were just like Yeah. Just, right. I mean, if I they, thought they figured it if, out. Yeah, if they had only kept that up, I mean right. what happened was the period ended. The period ended. And, and then they, they had out. a chance to then they had a ch- chance to sit for 20 minutes and cool down. But yeah. they were really fired up. Yeah. And that would have been a great time for them to have gotten a goal or two. Right. That window right. was open and closed. Well, they got they got the one goal in the power play. And then Okay, and, yeah. true. Now but but still but ha- one, but, one but, goal. Wait, 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 I gotta make a point before <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. They did what we, I, you wait basically we said move Ekblad into that OV stamp coast right spot. Oh yeah, yeah. For his one timer. Right. Right. Obviously that 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 worked. He right. got off a couple. Right. But then they stopped feeding it to him. Yeah, that, that they was- should have kept they should have just kept feeding him time and time and time again. You know, he should have had as many shot because Hornquist was right in right. front of Vasilevsky and Reinhardt was kind of sort of in front, just hovering. Right, right. You had those two guys in front. Right. Ekblad's firing the puck 100 miles an hour when he when he gets it, the egg blast. Right. That that you know so, that so, second but the and announcer power play. I don't even know if they fed him once. When I when I walked by the TV after I uploaded the video, that's exactly what <clears throat> the TNT post game guys were breaking down. They were breaking it down. They were they were really spending a lot of time on it, and they were absolutely ripping Barkov. They did it some during the game, the announcers, but then the the, the, the other crew they were just ripping him because they're like. Ekblad's just standing over there by himself wide open. And the only one that Barkoff will pass the puck to is Huberto. And they, they were, they were going at it hard. They, they were not, they saw exactly what you saw, which is, and that's why I say Barkoff should not be the quarterback. I agree. Did you see how many times? Well, I don't know how many, I think maybe it was two that Huberto tried to go cross ice to Ekblad and it got right. intercepted. Both yeah. Yeah. Times. Yeah. yeah what a just, schmuck. It's, it's just stupid. It's so you're just, right. And and who knows if you know Barkov? You're right. Barkov shouldn't be up there. Um, <coughs> yeah, they they they, they tweak. Let's put it this way, they they made a tweak on the power play, but basically it was the same shit. And that's Barkov and Huberto p- playing that's, catch, right, right, and right. and really not, you know, having a game plan of where that puck is going no no exactly it's it's because just, you're right Ekblad was alone on, yeah. on on and in fact on, on the, the one and third, on just, the one power play the guy has no stick and and the announcers are screaming to, to get it over to the side the guy's yeah. got no stick and barkov just kept putting it right back to huberto barkov huberto barkov huberto Huberto circle. Oh, I'll go for a little skate back to Barkov. And, and they were, and it wasn't, there. it wasn't fast. Right. It wasn't, right. it wasn't going bing, 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 bing. It was going right. s- slow. Like, I mean, Huberto was holding on to the puck. Right. You know, you, you don't hold on to the puck for more than a second or two. Right. 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 <laughs> and, and, and they're expecting something to happen. Like, like Elaine is suddenly going to open up and. Uh, all right. Yep. So, so this is what we got. And now, now on one hand, we have to say it's not over. While on the other hand, you and I both know what we're heading for. And that is the rest of May, June, July, August, and September. That is five months of what the fuck are we going to (laughs) do? Ah. Well, so, I can tell you right now, just, you know, then, then somebody made a really good point. Like if we replace Burnett after he wins the coach of the year, mm-hmm. like, you know, you and I both agree that they shouldn't have got rid of Gallant, but there, they, they might've been more than just surface reasons. Right, right, right. right. Why? And I think I might've told you some things, but yeah. Anyway, um, 
So if they get rid of him, coach of the year, whatever, then, you know, then it's like, you know, the revolving door of the, co- of the Florida Panthers coaching. Right. But on the other hand, again, Brunette inherited this team. Right. He didn't have to do anything. The system was in place. Right. Um, and that's the thing. And, 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 and that's what he did. He, he, did, he didn't really coach. Right, right. He, I mean, he managed. Know, and, and I also blame the staff. And that's McKenzie and Ophi and Rato, whatever. I mean, what are those guys? Aren't those guys chiming in with their suggestions? So, in my opinion, Brunette is just, I don't think he was up to the task. Right. And I think criticism or no criticism, you got to bring in, you know, you got to bring in a no nonsense coach like Q. Right. Um, you know, I think you and I both agreed, you know, Barry, Barry Trotz is yeah. the guy because he emphasizes defense. And I think, right. you know, obviously we proved that offense really wasn't a problem this year. Right. 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 Um, by the way, where is the offense? Three goals in three games. Three goals in three <laughs> games. So, on a team that scored an average of over four goals a game. Right. I think that's partly us, and I think that's partly a testament to the Tampa, you know, and the Capitals did the same thing. They, clawed, they found a way to, you know, to... to, to the, right. Well, the, it's... it's a to, to, sorry. It, it's... I'm trying to answer what you're saying. It's It's a... It's a collective thing. In a regular season, yeah, we're scoring four and five goals a game, right? But how many times do we score three goals in five minutes? Because they get the one, and then mad, maniac, energy, rush. Now it's four nothing. We're not getting, we're not getting that second goal. We're, we're getting one. And then Tampa is just blocking the shots and blocking the shots and blocking shots. And then if the shot gets through, Vasilevsky's making the save. So we're not getting that wave of energy. The only wave of energy we had was when Mooster Reining got hurt and we played like ourselves all of a sudden. We got the goal. And then, like you said, the period ended. So I think it's it's just we're not getting it's it's just been this energy thing that's been feeding itself, right? It's not like we're just consistently 60 minutes of hockey manically playing offense we were usually winning games especially towards the end of the season we were winning games in 10 minutes we turn it on for 10 minutes teams couldn't keep up it's three four nothing and then we coast the rest of the way you can't do that in the playoffs and i think the longer it's going on with the one goal the more these guys are getting frustrated you see it and it's just Exactly. You, I, I think you, it was exactly what you said. It's just going down. It's you can watch it swirling down the toilet bowl. Just each 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 shift. Exactly. That's the perfect analogy. You can just watch it slowly. Each shift we go down there, don't score. The energy just gets lower and lower and lower. Would you agree with me that the game turned on a dime when Huberto didn't bury that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, we that you know, was the game. We all I, jumped I said, up. I, we, we, that was we were. That was it. Yeah. I, 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 I either sent you a text or I sent my son a text saying that's the game right there, boys. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He buries it. We're up two to two, two to one. Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. It was, it was a tie game at that point. I believe it was another, was another power play where it might've been two to one and that would have tied it. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody, somebody uh, comment yeah. on that and yeah, correct yeah, us. It, it doesn't <laughs> matter. It right. doesn't matter. That was the goal. That wasn't right. That was that Vasilevsky wasn't no, even there. No, I mean, it was an empty net. All yeah. he had to do was roof it. Yep. Yep. That's that's a situation where you just roof it. Right. You make sure it goes in. Right. Well, and that's the yeah, other I thing. Know, I, I know things happen quickly. Right. But you have to have the presence of mind to just yeah. make sure it goes in. So that that was the game for me. Anyway, yeah. let's get back to this brunette thing because right. we're gonna. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of discussion about that. Um, 
there's a lot of decisions that have to made by they have to be made by Zito, and that includes yeah. Uyghur, Huberto, Marchment, Marchment, Mammon, Giroux, Giroux, Girat, Hornquist. Hornquist, okay. I mean, yeah, you know, it, it, one affects the other. You know what I mean? Like, so I mean, obviously, the the two the two major ones are, you know, Huberto and um, and Uyghur. Quite frankly, I don't see Huberto leaving. I to think me, he's if, he's if, one of the yeah you know faces of the franchise. Um, I know I'm biased. I, I, what's that? I said I know I'm biased. Um, but when you think about the money that he's going to want, to me, you 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 trade Uyghur for what you can get, and you resign Sharat. Um, Absolutely, because because if you're gonna if if they've made the decision that they're going to let Uyghur go and trade him anyway, because he's only got the one more year in the contract, so this is not me ripping Uyghur. This is a decision that has to be made, and if you keep Uyghur now during this during the beginning of the season, and and it costs you Sharat, knowing that you're already going to let Uyghur walk, that's stupid. So. Go ahead. I'm, I I'm in absolute 100% agreement. I told you the other day, there's no way this guy is worth the money that he's going to be asking. Right. You know, when I said to Billy, would you know, five or six, and, and you know, Billy's like, he's going to want a lot more than that. And I'm like, right. somebody will give it to him. It. Somebody will give it to him. Of course. Somebody will give it to him. Let him have him. Right. Well, I we would can't much pay rather everyone. have Sherrod yes. on our team. Yes. Um, but I don't know, you know, I, like I said, I, I don't I don't foresee them letting Huberto go. I no. mean, let's face it. I mean, the guy is still one of the top scoring guys, right. best pet, whatever. But he 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 and Barkov just didn't step up their game in the playoffs. I'm sorry. Huberto should have four or five goals and six, seven assists. Right. So right. those those, you know, and the but. Listen, we've seen it before with those two guys. Right. Right. So, I mean, it's really, and, it's just really, really frustrating. Um, right. And then, you know, with Mammon and Marchment, um, I don't know. I mean, Mammon's probably just, you know, going to get another one year small deal. Marchment, that's a tough call because he was, he was looking like he was, you know, worth, a three by three deal, but if he's got head injuries and he can't play his style, that's I feel bad for the kid. Um, but that he, he may only get another one year deal to so to show that he can, you know, come back and be himself because you know it's the, it's cap, a business. the caps, the caps really beat him up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if that kid doesn't go down early in the season with the concussion, right. I mean that line was just right, and we, it. we haven't even talked about that he benched Lundell. Yeah, yeah. Um, we don't know what's going on if it was injury or just benching. Well, the way Brunette put it was really, really weird. He said, and I'm paraphrasing. I'm like, this is not the exact quote, but he said he had that injury, and this is hard hockey. And I kind of lost them a little bit the last couple of games, and that's my fault. So I, I don't know if that means that Brumet meant to play him more minutes and he didn't, or or what that meant. But that was the words he used. He said, I, I kind of lost them the last couple of games, and that's that's a little bit my fault. So I don't know exactly what he meant there. Um, but that's that was really I wish I wish whoever asked the question would have asked the follow-up question and had that explained because it was a odd, it was an odd comment for him to make. Um, so Lundell gets benched and I, if you're only going to play the guy four minutes, you, you got to put guys out there on the ice that you, that you're going to play because just, you can't just roll two lines. Um, oh, and but that, that was, that, and that, go ahead. No, no, but that was something we talked about and, and said this in a recap. And I wanted to know your thoughts on it. For years, we've been saying uh, Barkoff and Huberto don't step it up in the playoffs because they're exhausted. And now this year, they ain't coming here exhausted. Lundell's been carrying that third line most of the year. They, they have not had to play their 25, 26 minutes a night. 
And so that narrative, I think we can bury that one. Yeah, I mean, what happened to the rolling four lines like we did all year? Right. You know, went right. back, he went back to old habits, Burnett, by right? just, you know, Barkoff and Huberto. Right. Playing right. those two lines predominantly, you know, in the, the, the bottom line is just we keep getting down. We keep playing from behind. Right. We haven't had one. Well, we, I think we had one game. In the, was a Capitals game where was we a were up game. four to one was the yeah. game. And, you know, we didn't look back. But, you know, most of the games that we had this year, I won't say most because we did come back in 29 games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, there were a lot of games where we were just, you know, rolling the four lines. And right. Every line was producing. Right, right. Yeah. And that's so, not – nothing's happening now. It's just – Listen, Horn, Hornquist and Achari, you know, you can't say enough about those two guys. Right. Right. They 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 look they lay they lay it on they lay it out there every right. every shift. Right. Hornquist especially. That's why <laughs> Horn, Hornquist is kind of the de facto captain. Right. And when I heard that little segment or whatever where they had him, you know, they mic'd had him up. mic'd up and yeah, even on the bench, he's rah rah sis boom bot. Right. And you don't hear a peep out of Barkov. And that that's no. why he's that's why he should not be captain. Right. Just, you know, and I think we said it at the time they gave him the seat that it's going to be too much responsibility. Who was that? Who, when did that happen? Who, who gave him the seat? Which coach? Because we've had so many. <laughs> was it was it Bugner? Was it when Bugner came in? I mean, it's yeah, it very all meshes possibly, together. Very possibly. It was before the season. You know, they did it up at West Point. You know, it was a whole big fanfare, you know, you know, McKenzie giving the jersey, you know, giving it. Right. Yeah, I think you might be right. I think it might have been the season before, uh, you know, the season Bugner was the coach. Right, right. Or, well, yeah, because I don't think it was I don't think it was Roland or Rowe. I mean, it could be it, it all melts together when you're a Panther fan. It just all melts together. So. All right. This is this is this is heartbreaking. This is tough. This is tough because this is really heartbreaking. And you know what? Would you rather see us lose game four tonight and just call it a day? Or would you just like that last gasp, you know, right. win so, tonight and so, come back, you know? So so, and, so because I'm making like 15, 20 bucks a video now, I'll let this series go as long as they, if, if I'm going to get 3,000 views of video, we can win a couple of games. Now, that set aside, and the, for the hockey side of it, I think the only way, the only juice that Zito's going to be given to fire Brunette is a sweep. I think if we come back and win game four and game five and show that fight and almost do it in game six, that Zito is going to be in a worse shape. So, ah, uh, Kyle, Brian and Kyle still insist. Kyle said it before game three. When I, when I went to pick him up, because he spent the mom at his night, it's, it's spent the night at his mom's house. He says, watch, the Panthers are going to lose game three and then reverse sweep the lightning. Now, I thought I was bad shit crazy against the Capitals when I stood up and said, we're not losing another game. Kyle's a special kind of crazy. <laughs> he says it's going to happen. So I, I don't, I don't know. Um, you got against, it. against the I, cup champions. I, you know, I'm not, look, I'm not saying, I'm just saying it. He's saying it in case, in case ring unicorns fall from the sky. And it happens. I want to make sure I've given him credit <laughs> now. So Brian too. Yeah, Brian too. I got I got like so many texts from him. I believe that's all he was writing to me. Right. Or right. I still believe. Right. And uh, you know I'm writing back to him like. I did. You know, I mean, so, but to answer your question, I mean, I never want them to lose. Um. You win game four, you go home. That that's really my 
I don't want to call it my biggest fear, but my biggest fear is we get up the cojones and we win game four because Tampa kind of eases up, which is not likely to happen, but I'm in my imagination. Then you go home, you got game five and just it, it, somehow we pull it off. And then we go back to game six in Tampa, like we did last year. And, uh, <clears throat> Oh, I guess we should, we should talk about this real quick. We haven't talked about it. Um, I'm going to assume you agree. Do not throw Spencer Knight out there tonight. Right. Yeah. Because, because he gives up an early goal. It could get ugly. No, no, no. You just, you just listen again. The Panthers ain't losing this series because of Bob. Right. Right. Yeah. Bob has played. Bob has answered the call. He's played well enough. Notice how we have, we haven't really, we haven't, (laughs) spent more than a minute talking about Bobrovsky. Right. Right. That's because Bob sh- has shown up. He showed and up. Did the job. Unbelievably. And, and the rest of the team, not, I just can't just, believe it. Just, you know, I, you couldn't have sold me that lottery ticket at the beginning of the season. You couldn't have sold me that. Where ticket. is Anthony Duclair? I, just... Where's Anthony Duclair scored 30 something goals this year. Okay. Visible, Where is that guy? I know. I mean, look, it always comes out after the playoffs that this guy was hurt, that guy was hurt. So I, they're I all hurt. They're all right. banged up. Like I said, right. there's got to be at least six guys on Tampa. Yeah. That must have multiple bruises all over their body. Yeah. From the yeah. shots that from they the shots. Yeah. No, well, no. Where's Sam? Where's Sam Bennett? Yeah. Yeah. Where are where's any of the, them? Where's the heart? Right. Right. Yeah. You're right. Who, wa- who wants it more? Oh, well, that's, that's, that's. Like I said, the worst thing, the worst thing is that, you know, we won the president. I mean, Tampa played this. Yeah. Fucking smart. Tampa played this good. They didn't care where they matched, where, where they finished. Right. Right. They didn't care whether they got second or third because right. they just, because when the playoffs start, yeah, the whole regular season just gets right. Doesn't you know, matter. It's wipe. It's the slate is wiped clean. Right. Yep. So, so. um. All right. <coughs> Appreciate. I hope it. we. I hope we do another recap. I hope we do another review tomorrow. Let's well, put it that well, way. Oh yeah, win or lose. Listen, we I'm a diehard fan. I mean, yeah. I can be depressed and frustrated and angry. I'm all of those things. Right. But I don't want them to lose. No, I don't. I don't want. I just them to want lose. them. I want them to play Panther hockey for once. I want them to come out tonight and, and that and and play like they've played. Not in you know towards the end of the season, you know. And again, I still say they made they made a mistake in those last few games by kind of you know checking it in or whatever. Right. You know. Right. I mean, right. we had two 12 game winning streaks, whatever, where we were just rolling. Right. Where's that team? Where's the team that was confident and having fun. These guys do not look confident out there. Right. They still, they still look tentative. They right. still look, and I don't want to use the word scared or intimidated. I think that's the word though. But I think that, yeah, I, I, I just think they think that Tampa's a better team than they are. Yeah. And yeah, they're playing like it. You know, all so, right, guys. Anyway, we will be oh, back tomorrow Alberto, morning. Alberto, Alberto made a uh, an offer for you know. Oh yeah, cigar, cigars, cigars that I like. So Alberto, <laughs> you know, send. Yeah, you know, I I think I put my email address out there on the on the screen yesterday. But you know, find a way to get in touch with me because I'm. Yeah, I, I haven't checked you. the email address, but definitely going to take you up on your offer, and I appreciate that. But um, yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. this was yeah. a really good cigar, guys. So yeah. Um, sure anyway, I hope yep. that I hope that I'm able to smoke another one tomorrow. And well, I we're doing we have, it no matter what. We're doing it. I hope no we have what. some. Yeah, I, right. Of yeah. course, but I hope we have some. You know, a more upbeat, positive. Yeah. Review. Yeah, this has been. Uh, this is ridiculous. We haven't. We had... got to get. We got to get more than one goal to. You know, it's like ridiculous. Three goals in three games. I know that 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 that's that's not the team that we saw all year. No. So no. 
Anyway, thanks for listening. Hit the like button. Yep. Hey, hit the subscribe button because yeah, we I don't know where be. you're at right now, but I think you were less than 500 away from 2,000. No, I'm I'm less than I'm less than 20 away now. Less so, than 20 away. Less than 20 away. Probably by the end of the night. Probably by the end of the live stream, we'll we set some. Maybe during the live stream, we'll hit 2,000. That'd that'd be awesome. That'd be um, awesome. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Appreciate all the support. I'll be back with the live stream one hour before the game tonight. Might be the last one, so I'm gonna I'm gonna load up on the giveaways tonight. I usually do. Who cares? Two. Who, Who cares? cares? Yeah, I think that's jeez. Uh, he really said who it cares though. he really that's gonna be the that's gonna be the slow if if we sweep i'm gonna sell shirts all summer with his hashtag who cares that just says hashtag who cares yeah all right guys <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow well, i'll see you later today